Well, welcome to Kenilworth Road. For many City fans, the FA Cup win at Wembley against United last June was one of the highlights of their many loyal years of watching the Blues. Although it was subsequently eclipsed by that never-to-be-forgotten night in Istanbul against Inter Milan, it still created some wonderful memories. And tonight, the defence of that FA Cup continues with a trip to Luton Town and a second visit in just a few months to their unique Kenilworth Road home. This game is going to be settled one way or another. Extra time and penalties will loom large if we are level going towards the final whistle. Does that make the approach slightly different? Do you know, when you're looking at that, normally you think, well, over a time, City will think, well, if we've got a second game, we'll just continue with the same patience that we have. We need to adapt slightly tonight. Yep, and it's worth bearing in mind that there is an extra day's rest for the Blues ahead of the Manchester derby, and they're not playing till Sunday. United also in the FA Cup, they play tomorrow night, so the Blues will have a little bit of an advantage there as De Bruyne gets around the outside, and Haaland tucks it into the back of the net. Well, it won't count as the latest team he scored against in a Premier League game, but having missed the game at Luton Town in the league in December, Haaland has now scored against a new opponent tonight, and he gives City the lead inside just a few minutes here at Kenilworth Road. Oh, and now Doughty wins it back, and Morris, oh, he was almost in for an equaliser. Well, City looked like they were clearing it, Doughty won it back. He got a lovely ball in, Morris got a touch. Oh, it's Ake, just in front of Ortega. And Ortega tripping the ball up to Haaland, who lays it off to De Bruyne. De Bruyne into the gap for Haaland, Haaland's through on goal. Can he get his shot in? You bet he can. City 2, Luton Town 0. And, well, it's almost become a cliché in itself. A through ball to Haaland and tucked into the corner. And yet another moment of Kevin De Bruyne assist magic makes it 2-0. Grealish looks to make it three, but it was caught easily by Poole. He's disappointed Grealish because he came in off that left-hand side and he hit it too close to Poole. Haaland wants a hat-trick, and it's a good save by Krull to deny him. It suddenly broke, beautiful move from City. Stones it was in the advanced position. He played it into the gap for Haaland. Krull was on top of him, good save the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva, City inching towards the final third. De Bruyne and Haaland. Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne. Oh, that is wonderful. Haaland, oh, it's saved twice. De Bruyne on the end of an absolutely glorious move, but Krull made the save. The rebound popped up for Haaland, and again Krull made the save. Just out of this world, it deserved a goal. Now Woodrow's onto it, tries the bending shot. It's a well off target, you can tell it was, because they take never even bothered moving towards it. Now City coming forward, and onside is Haaland. Haaland, can he get his hat-trick? Yes, he can! City lead by three goals to nil, and Erling Haaland has his second FA Cup hat-trick and his eighth hat-trick since he became a blue. And De Bruyne ticks on, has himself another. City assist, 155 in his career. As the shot goes in, wonderful shot. Jordan Clark's just hit a rifling shot into the corner of the net. Up to Stones. Stones going across the halfway line. Good run from Stones. On it goes to Nunes. Nunes, good save by Krull. And then it's cleared and out for a throw. It's momentum. Which is uh, dispossessed and breaks for Kanji. He plays it back to Ortega. Ortega miss hits it, and then Barkley had a chance to hit it over the top of Ortega first time. And he scoops a pass in, and Clark scores! And it's 3 2! And this cup tie is alive and kicking! Two goals for Jordan Clark!
and it's City 3, Luton Town 2, and Kenilworth Road is bouncing. Walker into the gap, De Bruyne, can he finish? Plays it across, Haaland makes it four, unless the offside flag says no. City lead four goals to two, and again, De Bruyne assists, Haaland goal, can you believe it? The ball cuts out to Krill, and Haaland just steps on. Sensational two bits of quality. Walker, then De Bruyne, that little look over his shoulder, simple tapping for Haaland. Bernardo Silva plays it to Haaland, Haaland, five, five for Haaland. And the bizarre thing is, it's not the first time he's scored five since he became a City player. He got five in the game against RB Leipzig in the Champions League. Well, he's done it again tonight. And City lead by five goals to two. And Erling Haaland has scored all five. And on this occasion, it wasn't an assist from KDB. Morris is through on goal, and Ortega makes the save, and the flag doesn't go up, and now it's with Barkley, and Barkley, brilliant save by Ortega, and now the flag goes up. Well, it waited and it waited, then it went up, but Ortega still made two good saves. Yeah, it was a special save as well. You see Ross Barkley open it up, and then Ortega from nowhere, uh, left-handed, fingertips just round the post. It went up to point to the corner quadrant, so it would have counted. That save from Ortega was necessary. Doubt he's near post corner. Oh, and it was off the line. Little flick from Barkley. Somehow it stayed out. Was it hit at Ortega or was there a defender who got a touch on it? Brilliant header from Barkley. And it's Chong. Chong hits it straight at to Ortega. Stones, Stones now with 18 and a quarter minutes remaining of this pulsating FA Cup time. City led 3-0, it was then 3-2 as Kovacic scores! Matteo Kovacic wraps in a shot from about 22 metres out into the corner of the net. It's his second City goal, he scored in the World Club Championship, you might recall, when the Blues won that back in December. He's now scored his first City goal in England, I suppose you could call it. And the Blues lead by six goals to two. Oh, what a humble guy as well, won everything in the game. He strokes it in, it's a brilliant finish as he steps forward from that midfield position. John Stone's excellent again, he's drawing people in. This is a great finish. Now Doku's going to try and give them a fourth goal in this second half. Into the penalty area he goes, hits the shot. Oh, it's just wide. He was slightly off balance as he hit it, and it went wide. The City were looking for their seventh of the night. And the referee's decided to add no time on at all, and I don't think either manager will be too disappointed at that decision. There's a lovely warm embrace between Pep Guardiola and Rob Edwards, the two of them. I think have been exchanging pleasantries throughout the contest. I know Pep Guardiola has been extremely complimentary about what Rob Edwards has done this season. Haaland scored a hat-trick to make it 3-0. Jordan Clark scored either side of half-time to put the game back into the melting pot. But it was still going to be Erling Haaland's night. He made it 4-2, he made it 5-2, four assists for Kevin De Bruyne. There was still time for Kovacic to add his first goal as a City player in England, having scored in the World Club Championship. And all in all, the Blues are into the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Who will the Blues meet in the quarter-finals? Because they're into them now. Luton 2, City 6.